I think one thing that really strikes me in this uh, edition of Strategic Survey is it's the year when the actions of rising and restoring recovering powers on the one hand and the inaction of Western states on the other combined to visit some serious damage on the institutions, the norms and rules of behaviour that up to now have been the shock absorbers in the international system. And the result of that, we're living in a world which is less secure and more prone to conflict. If we turn to Russia and ask, what does it want? How does it see the world? Well, it sees the world in which the United States and its key allies are duplicitous and hostile to it, and ultimately desperate to see regime change in Russia. We see a world where uh, Russia's insecurity has been stoked by the advance of Western military infrastructure ever closer to its borders, and its rights as a great power have been infringed as it has lost allies and satellites to the European Union and that extends now even deeply into the former Soviet Union itself. Russia sees the world and the international security system as increasingly moving in a direction which is not favorable to it with intervention, unilateral intervention and questioning of the rights of sovereign states. What does Russia want? It wants to be respected. It wants its interest to be taken account. Crucially, it wants a new European security treaty and architecture that really gives it the security that it feels its need. What's it actually getting? It's getting selective, quarantined cooperation from Western states, firstly on Iran, more latterly on Syria, but there's no bleed over into any other areas. There's no benefit for Russia contingent on those. It's getting a very transactional conversation on Ukraine, but crucially, nothing whatsoever on this question of European security. And that's why we feel that in a short to medium term, there is very little prospect of exiting this very chilly, tense relation between Russia and the West.